Greetings and welcome to the Greatness Factor podcast, hosted by author, speaker, and property consultant, Tinashe C. Mudanda. On this podcast, we'll be focusing on the ideas that can help you maximize and unlock the personal potential that is within to become the greatest version of yourself. So sit back and relax and enjoy our content as we delve into the Greatness Factor. Stay blessed. Hey everybody, welcome to the Greatness Factor Podcast. We understand that you guys have a lot of questions that you struggle with when you're starting your businesses, your mental health, your emotions, athletes. We have so many things and so many experts in the world that we want to ask them something. How did you do it? How did you get here? So the Greatness Factor Podcast is bringing you an amazing segment called Ask the expert where you give you an opportunity to talk to some of the greatest and most successful people in zimbabwe so for this segment we have an amazing guest who's going to blow your mind so sit back relax and enjoy that's a very good question And it's a question that dawned on me almost a year or two into business because I was one of those very rapid millionaires. So in my little mind, as long as my son Panache, my sweetheart Caroline, uh, I had a good house, uh, a Merc, it has to be a Merc, right? Uh, We're Zimbabwe. (laughs) As long as I had that. But you see, for me, I peaked too soon, uh, Monica. And because of the people around me, remember I said the people around you are a factor. So for me, it then became, okay, I've achieved that. What about my partners? What about my managers? Don't they want what I want? What about my directors? My board even became jealous, Monica. (laughs) They became envious, should I say, not jealous. So you then start seeing, and then of course, if you're doing well, your brother sees you doing well. So yes, I had to support my family. I then, in the village, you can't pitch up with your merk. You can't pitch up So those factors to what i call societal factors if you are if you have a conscience because a lot of people don't have a conscience <laughs> but i had a conscience and i could see the poverty around me i also wanted my parents to move from highfields so i moved them from highfields to glen to gunhill are you with me so that they could feel the impact so that challenged me to want to scale now, if you're also hanging around people like Brother Strive Masiwa, <laughs> that guy thinks scale. <laughs> Strive was thinking a cell phone in the hands of everyone. I was on his board. I was chairman of his finance and audit committee at age 32, listed company, chairman, <laughs> finance and audit. And this guy is talking about a cell phone in the hands We were then about 7 million people. I couldn't even picture it. (laughs) Because there were only 100,000 lines in Zimbabwe. Now, you hang around that guy too long, you'll soon think scale. Are you with me? You hang around me, Monica, for a while. You come to my classes. I don't think you will think small. You begin to think scale. Are we together? So I think it's exposure, it's experience, it's travel. You are only as big as you have traveled or you have read. And if you're not a reader, you're not a traveler, uh, all you've gone to is your own village, then you're going to be a big fish in that little pond. But the moment you've traveled, you've traveled, you've been to New York, You've seen just the buildings, how towering they are. You've seen Fortune 500 companies that are listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Guess what? You start thinking big. I I went to Wall Street. 
I worked out what these guys were. These guys were like thousands of times bigger than my little bank. You begin to think scale. So I think we have to think scale. And we, I think, have a beautiful country. Yes, it's a tough business environment. But guess what? When the toughness comes, the tough get going. Guess what? If you can survive in Zim, I know I can survive anywhere in the world. Inflation, hyperinflation in peace times like Zim. So guess what? We are toughened, we are hardened. If you can prosper here in Nigeria, we know it a scale. Ah, we know spark. <laughs> to use modern lingo. Are you with me? Ah, you, you want to go to Nigeria. You want to sit at the feet of Dangote. Then you know the guy is building what? A cement company. And it, he's building a pipeline. Not for Nigeria, which has 200 million people, Monica. He's building it for Africa and the world. I mean, that guy is crazy. <laughs> and I met uh, Aleko Dongote. I sat at his feet uh, at the World Economic Forum. I said, I want to study this guy. This guy thinks scale. Are you with me? And no surprise, when I saw Dangote about what? The last time I saw him and met him, about 10 years ago, I met him recently. The guy's gone gray. Why? Because he wants to change. He's thinking scale. And when you think scale, you'll go gray and lose your hair quickly. <laughs> Not gray year natural. Uh -uh. Gray year intensity of what? Of the play in business. And so we must, as Zimbabweans, think scale. We must think competitiveness. We've got the African free continental trade area. Wow. It means it's easier for us to navigate those waters. No duties. We must think scale. I'm expecting, I'm hoping I'm sitting in the midst of billionaires here. Don't think a million. I was thinking a million. No, think billion. I hope you are answered and inspired. Hey everybody, it's your girl Benhelda Lajla, live from the Greatness Factor podcast. So glad to have you here. We are so grateful for the support that you guys have been offering. So we just want to ask you for a little bit of a favor. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like our YouTube page at Tinashe Simdanda. And then please follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. So if you want to follow us on Instagram, we are under the name TGFP underscore one. Thank you so much and we appreciate you. See you.